Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater, and it's time to find your perfect pitch and bust out those dancing shoes. My review of the 2023 comedy, Theater Camp. Coming up now. When Joan, the founder of a summer theater camp, has a stroke after watching a performance of Bye Bye Birdie and falls into a coma, her clueless son, Troy, takes over even though he's a terrible businessman. With financial ruin looming, Amos and Rebecca Diane, two of the camp's teachers, hope to keep the camp afloat and premiere their latest annual original musical, Joan Still, a tribute to their comatose founder. So what did I think of Theater Camp? I thought it's a charming and amusing comedy. The film is directed by Molly Gordon, who also stars, and Nick Lieberman, both in their directorial feature debuts based on an 18-minute short that they co-wrote. It's a mockumentary-style film, very much akin to the television series The Office, or Christopher Guest movies such as Best in Show or Waiting for Guffman. As someone who has performed in a number of musicals back in the day, I will say theater people themselves will probably get more of the jokes, but the non-thespians will be able to pick up on most of the gags just fine. The film works as a satire, showing how seriously the actors take everything, but gives us enough homage to the craft as well, so it feels like they're laughing with us and not at us. Of course, being based in theater, we get to see some hilarious audition and rehearsal montages, as well as seeing highlights of their debut performance of Joan Still, which is a lot of fun. I found myself laughing regularly throughout the film at the material, from the funny visual gags such as the title cards that give us some background information on the characters, seeing the counselors in action using some eccentric teaching methods, and the enjoyable lyrics to the original songs. There's a number of subplots going on as well, such as Troy trying to keep the failing camp afloat and dealing with the rival camp. Also included is drama going on between Amos and Rebecca Diane, with the two codependent friends acting out of character, which can be predictable, but it still works. Child actors can be very much hit and miss, but these kids are very talented, with quite a few of them getting to stand out and shine. I feel like we'll see some of them again in future projects. The fun cast stars Ben Platt as Amos Klobuchar, the senior counselor at the camp who's very talented but also can be irritating to his peers, Molly Gordon as Rebecca Diane, Amos's best friend and fellow counselor who's co-writing Joan Still with him, Jimmy Tatro as Troy Rubinsky, Joan's clueless son who wants to be a financial bro, Noah Galvin as Glenn Winthrop, the stage manager who juggles many different tasks, and Io Edebri as Janet Walsh, the stage combat expert who lied on her application and has no clue what she's doing. Theater Camp is a humorous and feel-good comedy worth attending. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It and a High. Do it at that. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the X, the Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time. Troop. Out.